The Tuscan hills are alive with this sound of music. Mozart piped out over 80 waterproof Bose speakers. Music for Carlo Cignozzi is as important as the winter rains and the spring sun to ensure the grapevines at his vineyard, the Paradiso di Frassina, are healthy and productive. We have shown that music helps them to grow better, he tells me. The grapes mature two weeks earlier, the fruit is more regular, and the leaves are thicker and greener. Twelve years ago, he dropped out of the rat race in Milan, where he practiced law, to dedicate himself full-time to making wine. Carlo found the vibrations of classical music, in particular Mozart, are something the usual pests would rather not hear through the grapevine. I funghi patogeni come la peronospera se ne vanno via perché non riescono a lavorare. Pathogens, parasites and insects are disturbed by this sound, he says. Wild boars, porcupines and deer don't come here because this sound, which we love because it's Mozart, bothers them. Gli antociani, i tannini, la fava perché è ricca di azoto. The universities of Pisa and Florence are following Carlo's experiment to see if there is indeed veritas in this version of vinification. Down in the wine cellar, which dates back more than a thousand years, Carlo believes the music continues to have an effect on the Brunello in these casks. La seconda fermentazione, che si chiama fermentazione malolattica, Before this second phase of fermentation occurred randomly, sometimes in January, sometimes in March, he says. Now, with the music, it always occurs in January. Le onde musicali accelerassero un processo di fermentazione secondaria. The result is a wine over which Carlo predictably waxes poetic. The wine with the music can go quickly to the head. Ben Wiedemann, CNN, Montalcino, Italy.